Ooh, hola y bienvenidos aquí en México. Welcome, good morning uh, from here in Mexico, uh, Mexico City. Um, it is, well, let's show you around a little bit. There is a lot going on. I've heard a lot of things about Mexico City, so much about the markets and places, but coming here, my mind is blown a thousand fold. This is actually my first day here. I got here last night around midnight and there's still life and everything going on. But today I want to explore. It's back in exploring, back in creative mode, bringing you all along with me in a place that I thought it would be cold. It's a little bit warmer than Cleveland, um, but show you it's currently a Saturday when I'm filming this. So marketplaces is going on and bring you guys along and show you a little bit of here in Mexico City. can tell you about here not only in Mexico City but in Mexico I don't think it was made for people my height everything uh, everything is so small the heights of the tents the heights of the ceilings the size of the beds um, a beautiful challenge but now going through this little little marketplace Now to give you a little context, I needed to come here to save myself, my creativity. One of the things that I have to always remember is, especially for me, and I'm sure this applies to one of you out there, is that our creativity is the service that we give to the world. And when I was in America, it's not that I didn't like America and I didn't enjoy it, but there, it's something about, I'm not using my other languages, I'm not exploring, I've been kind of just chilling. I need a place to come to where I could be free to kind of roam around and Mexico just seemed to call. And the more I watched a few vlogs, had a few people mention it, the more I realized like, this is kind of what I was missing. The vibes of, the vibes of a different culture. There's a certain magic that comes to that. The vibes of a different culture. Can't forget that. And I say the one thing that really comes to my mind is I'm here walking through the, walking through Mexico, or well, I'm actually currently in the Roma area, is culture and activity. Two things that come out to my mind instantly as I'm here, culture and activity. And so many little hole in the wall stores and restaurants and cafes. It's, it's vibrant and yeah, it's, feels good to be here. It feels good to have you here. I'm kind of speechless right now. Um, hopefully you're kind of getting it kind of captured what it kind of looks like from the alleyways to the street markets, to the old cars on the side of the roads, to the outdoor cafes, the little marketplaces. Um, yeah, Mexico City, so far approved. <laughs> oh yeah, and I forgot to say, the people are so nice. I don't want to compare them to other places that I've been, but the happiness, the smiles, I feel like I'm back in one of the countries I just came from. You know, one thing that I really love instantly is like almost on every single corner, there's like little, small little booths of people just selling their food almost like an Asian style and I don't like comparing cultures but you got to get you to understand you have to think of something that you know so little booths everywhere people are sitting down eating it's like not an official restaurant and they're in there a little chilly in the morning gets a little bit hot now but they're in there laughing joking you can see they probably have their little traditions they're normal everyday customers and uh, yeah and stuff like that I don't know when I travel stuff like that just really touches my heart because I didn't grow up like that. 
You know, I think sometimes we get so sucked into how we grew up and we look for familiarity where I've realized that the beauty in life is found in the things that are different. The things that are different, that stand out, that expand our minds. And being here already, maybe 12 hours, I already feel that at a massive level in my nervous system of just seeing new things, feeling my brain expand, neurons firing up, and uh, yeah. I don't eat meat, but being here, I might have to reconsider that, at least for a little bit, at least for a week. All these street tacos, street food, and you guys know I love that, being around places, getting kind of the, how the locals eat, and And the people here are so friendly and as you can see like that's one place but even here little hole in the wall little hole in the wall cafes and there are legit in here if you look I'm not gonna go in there I'm on a mission right now to find some juice but you can see you walk around there's plenty of things to keep your eyes and your mind kind of captivated, even from simple, the murals on the walls. see the prices here that's the price in pesos it's not US dollars that's around like four about four US dollars for this um, and the way I kind of do the conversion is I divide it in half and take away a zero so if that makes sense so if it's a hundred dollars a hundred dollars you divide it in half it's 50 and take away a zero and that's like five dollars like around that something like this and I got this ginger shop and they have smoothies and everything like that so and the people here are super nice so definitely approve this place and so cool upstairs from the uh, juice bar of Larry be as happy as Larry this juice bar is a fitness room and they have one thing that I travel with everywhere I go TRX huh. this place is definitely approved they got little weights down there kettlebells Everything you need. Everything you need to get fit. Muchas gracias. Hasta luego, eh? Hasta luego, amigo. Oh, man. Stuff like this makes me want to cry. Like, sounds crazy, but being around, like, people who are grateful. Like, I don't think you know life. You don't know what it feels like to give until you really start giving and you start giving to people who truly appreciate it. That's a, that's an eye-opening experience. You can see that little street food. And it's not even street food, it's literally like restaurants. People just sitting there eating, laughing, joking. And one of the biggest differences that I realized is it's not like, it's almost not like it's looked down upon. I guess that's the one thing that stands out to me. It's not looked down upon to go to a place like that. Like if you go to downtown Cleveland, for example, where I'm from, you can go to a hot dog stand and eat there. Not too healthy, not everybody's doing it. Here you see people coming out of, in business suits, sitting there on the street, eating the street food, laughing. And I love how it's like that inclusive. I'm really about that whole unity and everything like that. And seeing that with the people here. Hola, buenos dias. People are so nice. <laughs> 
Viva Mexico. I don't know what took me so long to get here, but I've finally been guided to you. anyone talk about in any video or anything is the where Mexico City is relative to sea level because as I got here hola as I got here I was running up the stair or going up the stairs and I was doing my workout and I was just like struggling to breathe and I'm like I know my body pretty well this is not normal so I was like let me just have a look at what altitude we're at like it wasn't a big struggle but it's like my recovery should be a lot faster than that and I looked at it, and Mexico City is 7,268 feet above sea level. I think that's even higher than Denver or any of the other places. It makes me think, if you just come here, you'll naturally start to get yourself in shape. Because you have no other choice. And seeing those taxis, one thing that is really handy, I guess I'll make a little guide to Mexico City. But one thing is handy to know when you come here is there is Uber. Very simple, very easy, and very unexpected and inexpensive if you're used to spending it uh, in the States or in Paris, for example. Makes things a lot easier and they come right to where you are and it's a lot safer. So that's one more little handy fact to know. But on that, I think I'm about to go explore a little bit today. Put the camera away, believe it or not, because I'm capturing it in a different way. And one thing is I feel led to say this, for example, the lady right here, I always looked at that as like freedom. Like a lady like that, if she doesn't like this park, she can go somewhere else and take her work. She can go to another place in Mexico. She can decide to just move and kind of go because she has everything with her. And I think it's something we kind of overcomplicate a lot of times. We think we have to have some huge ordeal to make a living or we need this huge amount of money to make a living. When in reality, traveling, like I know so many of you want to do and do it full time, it doesn't have to be as complicated as you think. It doesn't have to be as hard. It doesn't have, it, what if it was that simple? What if it was simple as finding something very simple, living very humbly and being free? Because with that little bit of money that you think is too little and a little bit of humbling, which is tough on the ego, you'd realize that that freedom you get is in invaluable. You can't ever even quantify how amazing it is to have that freedom. And it's something I want for you all. I know it's really off topic for today, but something I felt like I had to share as I'm going around and seeing these people on these marketplaces with their carts and moving around. Um, so on the note, hope you enjoyed today. Maybe one little quick round of footage, a little B-roll, show you a little bit more as I'm about to go walk down in a place called Roma. And um, yeah, then we'll end the vlog. But we'll first give you, I wanna give you a little bit of a taste to make it feel like even more that you're here with me. So on that note, hope you enjoyed that. It's only been about 12, 14, 13 hours here in Mexico and my mind is, is, is relieved and happy and being around people who can be so happy in a place where people might not look at it as well, they, it's a third world country or whatever people say, but they don't ever quantify the, the happiness that people have, the gratitude that people have. One thing that Asia taught me was that money is very little actually. Money can do a lot, it helps a lot of people. I want to have lots of money because I can do what I do better and more and more efficiently and reach more people. But if you're not happy and you can't be happy with yourself, then all money will do is amplify what you are inside. And on top of that, it will give you this sense of aloneness. Because everyone says, you know, I'd rather cry in my Ferrari than on the bus, and that's not true. Because on the bus and you're crying, people can understand. When you're pulled over at a red light, crying in your Ferrari, 
people just don't even take any kind of pity on you. They judge you even harshly, which will amplify how you're feeling. So on that note, I want you to take care of yourself, take care of your mind, take care of your spirit, take care of that creative side in you. And from here in Mexico City, in the main park where they're already playing music, where I'm gonna start to come work out probably in the morning. I wanna thank you for being here, thank you for watching, and I'll speak to you all later. And in the meantime, everyone always remember to work hard, be brave, and don't forget to smile. Ciao.